respect as well, and he's yes. not coming in to lose. I mean, I he's actually, definitely here um, for the fight. Yeah, I actually talked to Waves for like two hours yesterday, just talking about game theory, and um, I feel like he has a lot of he has a lot of new concepts that he's working on, and a lot of things that are going to be very important for him coming into this game. Look at him; he's playing it extremely slowly, not giving. Uh, not giving Destiny any room to work with. However, Destiny playing it just as slow and playing very uh, reactively to Waze here, holding that jab to try to beat out the spin dash. That frame one jab, extremely strong in this matchup. Oh, and that and that OB, so much confidence coming out of that OB exactly. as well. Exactly. He just knew. I mean, this is a kind of low risk, as in he can actually land, land on the on top, top platform, platform obviously. Exactly. But uh, this is not the usual thing you would see Destiny do. Yep. He just knew about Waves. Uh, uh, trying to get out of that shield at, at that specific point. So Waves All taking right. it slow. He has the percentage lead and he's just going to platform camp and that's exactly what I want him to do. Look at this. He's playing it so slowly and he's forcing Destiny to throw out those up Bs to deal with the platform camping. And this is exactly how you play against Little Mac. Yep. You got to force him to deal with platform camping and he does not have KO punch. So there's no pressure at all, and there's no reason for Waves to even punish Destiny if he does a B. As long as he holds the lead, as long as he doesn't get hit, uh, Destiny is not going to get that KO punch. And oh, but oh. that KO punch you were talking about, that down tilt connecting, but Waves just out of the range to actually throw the KO oh. punch. And, oh, and <laughs> Destiny hard reading Waves to go for the platform, not working out, and Waves has all the cards in his hands right now. He, he does not even need to gimp Destiny. He just needs to make his way back home on the platform. Definitely, definitely. And he's and actually he's got a penthouse that. up there. He's yeah. got a nice view. <laughs> this is a five star he got. Hey, Destiny actually got caught out of his jump with that sweet, sweet forward there. Very nice read, granting him the first talk. And we were talking about Elite, the penthouse and all that stuff. This is now his own building that has been built up there in that platform. He's still deciding to go aggressive, finding a back here there, just uh, well, I don't even know if that's actually... We can talk about aggressive play when you, you're using such low committal options. Like, exactly. you're just spin dashing through. But, I mean, that's Mac, what you so. got to do. You got to show little Mac that he is a low tier and Sonic is a top tier. Yep. And, and look at that. Destiny's already swinging wildly, trying to make up for this deficit. And it's just not working out. Waves playing it extremely methodically, making sure that the optimal play is exactly what he's going for. Recognizing uh, already the tools that Destiny uses against platform camping. Uh, we've seen him actually add out the up B that came out of Destiny, yep. uh, that Destiny's little Mac. Eh, that's not gonna be it just yet. He needs another 15% oh, nice to be able to kill. spring right there to avoid the up B, making sure there's no danger whatsoever. And even if he's cornered, he can still make everything happen because Destiny is so far behind having to approach a cornered Sonic that's not a good look for Lil Mac because as soon as that grab, sco grab comes through, he's going to get back from off stage immediately. Mm. And that's something Destiny now has to keep in mind. But that oh. oh, okay. I really di really expected that KO punch to come out. Okay, so what I think is going to happen, I think Destiny wants to end this stock without using KO punch. Yeah, makes sense. So that he can make the comeback happen on the second stock. Totally makes sense, but uh, this is such a... Um, hard comeback to make. I'm not sure he can actually allow himself the luxury to, you know, just hold on to that KO punch because yep. the KO punch is lost so easily, just Waves like we saw. immediately on point, making sure that the lead is extended and that up B after the clank, barely not going to hit. And that's because that up B has been stilled like five times now because it's the only answer he has to do with Sonic's platform camping. There's nothing left for Destiny to do except get that... The get that that stray kill, but getting a stray kill versus a character that's this fast mm, is just impossible. Yeah. And Waves it getting that two stock game one. It is so hard. Extreme methodical play. And I mean, statistically, he wasn't in the game, but <laughs> look at that. Look, look at, at that, that game look one. At that. And that was a two stock. That was a two stock. That however, was a two stock. However, a very methodical getting, two getting stock. Getting back to uh, like set strategy, right? Uh, Final Destination gonna be gone. For sure. But Town and City is still going to be Final Destination one third of the time. Mm. And that one third of the time might be enough to get that KO punch and swing the game in his favor. Might be, might be. I mean, for that one. But we're, like you said, if we look at the um, set strategy, this is um, only two wins for Destiny. If he can actually win both of those games, this is only two wins. And then he has to go back to this platform camping exactly. game. All the triplats, so all the others. Final so Final Destination is going to stay, stay banned. And this stage is going to get banned by Dave's Stupid Rule. Yeah. 
So even if he does get this win, this is going to be the only win he gets without dealing with that internal platform campaign mm. that the Waves has been putting up game one. And even if he doesn't have platforms, we just saw him play very patiently, not approaching Little Mac as soon as he has that lead. And now he's playing a, a little bit more reckless. Just he going for these homing attacks and stuff. Yeah, he has to make up for that percentage deficit. And as soon as he has to lead, look at his defensive play just with punishing. Very, very adequately by Waves. Extremely well done. And look at the platforms coming in. Waves not even caring. He's going for the back throw and he has to get rid of that KO punch soon. Because this is where it gets scary. I think Waves is going to board the platforms just like that. Alright, we're up for a 30 seconds camp. Most likely on those platforms. Maybe he knows about Destiny's text as well. Oh, oh just barely whipping and so I mean, close. I don't know if that's Waves being extremely aware of the burst range or Destiny just barely whipping, uh, messing that up. But that was that was a hair of that a difference. <laughs> that was a nade biter just there. I really expected that one to hit. I think Destiny as well. I'm pretty sure Waves... Uh, could feel the wind on his face. <laughs> he definitely got blown away there. And that's one of that, those obscure little mech techs. Yeah. He uses a jump cancelled neutral B yeah. to get extra distance. And that's why that burst range was so impressive uh, for Destiny there. All right. But Waves putting Destiny on it. That's at this stage. Yeah, Trying to find I mean, the... Yeah, he's just going for the back throw and, and going for the very safe... Uh, Options just like that, covering and the high recovery, finding the back throw and the first kill. And we're back to the first game, basically. Exactly. And this is definitely Waves implementing some of the things I was talking to him about. I was talking about how your game is basically built up out of a base layer of uh, optimal play, right? It's yeah. your optimal choice versus their optimal choice. And then if they want to beat your optimal choice, they're gonna have to use a specific counterplay, which is like layer one, right? Yeah. And then you have- Oh, that down smash though, uh, actually granting exactly. him the kill. Right. All right, we're back to an even game, but I'm very interested to- uh, Yeah, in, so let's in keep going, thing. right? Yeah, let's keep so going. So there's layer one, which is the, uh, their counter to your counter. And then you yeah. have layer two, which is your counter to their counter. Yeah. And then if they want to counter that, uh, they go back to their optimal play, their layer zero. Yeah. So just like that, there's kind of like a rock, paper, scissors in neutral. And in this scenario, what Waves is doing, uh, that is his layer zero, it's walking backwards, moving backwards, and baiting Destiny in, forcing him to commit. And as soon as Destiny commits, he crosses him up like that. He goes forward and tries to mix him up. And I see Waves do that a lot, try to move around and use his movement to bait Destiny to make mistakes and use his spin dash to punish that immediately. And I think that's very interesting and I think that's a key point that we're seeing coming out from Waves here, his movement. Definitely, uh, especially his backwards movement. I would completely agree, even when he's out of options to, uh, to run away, like we've seen, like he had no jump, the most Destiny could get out of it was a down tilt and then uh, Waves could have hit the ground there uh, gets his jump back and uses the spin dash, uh, not the spin dash, the spin shot to actually get exactly. away. Exactly, a lot of movement coming out from Sonic, and especially with the platforms to help him land, it's so low committal. It is, it is, and, and that KO punch is out of the game again. That's going to be it for Destiny, yep, and that, that is, is definitely going to be it, and Waves, I mean, it took him four minutes, but it looked like he was never in risk of losing that game. Never, never not once. He was so cool, calm, collected, and in control. That was that was that was crazy. That's not the usual. I mean, we are used to the very patient, methodical ways, but he's never come in with such a strong plan versus Destiny ever. Yep, and he's 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 sticking to his plan definitely. And that is the hardest thing because, I mean, of course, on the surface level, it's just platform camping. Yeah, it's just being defensive. But in reality, if you look at the burst range for that KO punch alone. There's so much pressure that Little Mac yep. puts on you just by existing. Yeah. And sticking to your game plan and knowing exactly what you want to do in every scenario, that's not easy. And that shows how much experience Waves has in the matchup and how much, once again, just like Lost said, the mental fortitude required to stick to that game plan in the face of death at 0%. Yeah. This is a, a very nice showing of mental fortitude. I would say this is like the easier part of mental fortitude showing though, because everything is working just fine. Exactly. Let's there's, see if there's no there's no bad parts for waves. Let's all yeah, good. Yeah, just that. Let's see if Destiny can get his plan going as well. Just trying not to get, uh, uh, trying not to see the lead uh, run away from him, just like he's doing now. Uh, yeah. 51%. This is like already looking very bad for Destiny if waves keeps going with that same very nice and clean plan going and, and 77% already. It's like double, right? Because not only does 
Uh, Sonic work well with a lead. Little Mac hates it when the opponent has a lead. So not only does Little Mac hate the lead, Sonic loves the lead as yeah. well. And that's double trouble coming out here for Destiny. However, he is sitting on that KO punch, but the platforms are in play. Let's see how it interacts here. Yeah, something else is in play there. The KO punch is most likely his only hope to actually get back in the game. But, but it's, already yo, gone. it's already gone. It's already gone. Waves with the clutch spin dash actually taking out the only option Destiny had to get back in the game. What's going to happen? What's Destiny's plan in that um, third and most likely oh. last game of the... That's big. That almost killed. It is Town and City and... Destiny showing a lot of strength here. He's, he's still in the game. He's still looking for those kills. And Sonic is definitely going to be sweating here because a lot of Lil Max moves here will confirm into a kill. See how he lands? Yeah. He actually makes it back to the ground with that roll. Very well done. And Waves, however, he did manage to reset the neutral. So even though Destiny did land on the ground, he did not turn the situation around. Mm -hmm. And that's very big as well. Now we're back to the platform layouts. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Air Max, <laughs> let's go. Air Max. Gets that single hit in. Not a big deal, however. 4%, boys. 4%. We take those. And, and he unstilled his moves. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. This is, uh, yeah, this is how he wins the sets for sure. Exactly. <laughs> and Waves is playing it so patiently. However, being on that platform is definitely risky because he does open himself up for that up B. And we already saw an up B mm. out of shield coming out there. However, Waves using that excellent spring mix up twice in a row. Destiny not quite catching on to that. He just has no option. I mean, Waves, every time he goes above and... In, in oh, mean, jab, a B! Did you just say he has oh. no option? Did you just say yes, he, he has, has okay, no okay, option? Okay, okay. Destiny is definitely Got in this me. game. Got me. All right. And now this is the first time Destiny has a lead in the game. So let's see how this plays out. I'm very curious to see uh, how good, uh, how well Destiny is going to push his lead. Uh, um, most likely taking a win, though. Because I know Destiny is awesome at that. Just uh, keeping his lead and... and now that the opponent has to approach, he can just play his defensive game very well, just uh, stuffing him out every, every time you uh, try to approach. Exactly. And what is also important here is that this is a different scenario that we've seen in these two games so far. It's entirely different, and I really want to see how Waves mm. adapt to it with that back air. Thanks for the answer, man. You didn't keep me waiting whatsoever. It's pretty much back to even here with less than three minutes on the clock. Over half the game is done already, and Waves, he just needs one hit and he knows it, so he can afford to camp even though he is behind on percents because in the end, he just needs that one spin dash confirmed mm. to bring it back to his favor. 26% is exactly the amount of percents a spin dash into Nair would actually do. Well, not connecting the it Nair, fully yeah, connects, it fully yeah. connects. <laughs> this is, but uh, again, we are back to an even game. And oh, oh, look at that. Waves taking that small, bigger lead already. But bigger lead, whoop. yep. Look at that. Nice punish using the down smash to make sure there was no mix-up possible there for Destiny. He has to land here. Uses that side B mix-up. Extremely well done by Destiny. Such presence of mind from our little mag champion here. Down throw using that roll cancel grab to get extra burst range on the grab. Destiny really pulling out every tr single trick in the book. Destiny has to pull every single trick in the book at the moment because this is looking like oh, oh. And reading that air dodge actually uh, giving him that down tilt to side B switch is that oh, oh my god amazing defense from Waves reacting instantly with not just a jump but a jump air dodge crossing Little Mac up and not giving him the, K the KO with the up B and I really want to see how Waves pulls it back into his advantage. One and a half minutes on the clock here. And KO punch on deck, even for... Oh, I saw that one coming. That one was coming for sure. You were talking about obscure little mad sex. That was one. You can actually use that side B uh, with a very specific timing to actually slide on the stage and, and make it grounded. So here goes the KO punch. The yep. first KO punch connecting. First game for Destiny. Destiny, extremely strong. And we've been talking about Waves and his plan a lot. But Destiny has been hanging in there in that game three oh, for yeah, sure. Definitely. However, getting back to what we talked about before, yep. the set strategy, he does not have Final Destination anymore. He does not have Town and City anymore. He gets his one win, and the other wins he's going to have to do with constant platform camping if he does not hold on to a lead from the get-go. And we haven't seen him get many leads so far. This is going to be a rough one for Destiny. I really wonder if he's going to keep... Uh, going with that little Mac. He's definitely looking so, so uh, but, but, but we are back to the game one situation with a battlefield and a lead for Sonic, so. Yep, a minor lead, but a lead indeed. Look at that. Waves is being also impressive and Waves, I really want to see him go back to that top platform, man. He does not need to play this ground game. There's no reason to be here where little Mac is strongest.
show him why you're a top tier waves. Oh, and that back here will uh, make his, string, his lead even stronger. Oh, oh that's and not, that's no, that's not gonna be a kill, but so, oh, so much big damage. Damage evening up the game with one shield break, and the KO oh, punch is gone. No, no, that's no, gonna no, be no. huge for Destiny. And it's gonna be hard for him to get another KO punch before he kicks the bucket. So that's one of the biggest opportunities of the game. Oh, of definitely. the set. Of the set for gone. sure. Of the set for sure. This Sports smash, not gonna connect. Nice mix up by Destiny going for the early side B. And Waves not boarding the platforms whatsoever. He's kind of straying from his game plan here. And that might actually be Destiny's chance. Exactly. This is definitely Destiny's chance. Look at Waves. He was on the top platform. He just he just drops off. There's no reason for him to, but he does so regardless. Mm. And that's going to be a big, big deal in this game. Look at this. Oh, and that's going to be an up throw. Fire! Up throw with no kill just yet. Destiny trying to jank oh, him out very there. Very nice usage of the spring to definitely. cover his landing. And... You don't want to play with Fire versus Lil Mac. There's no reason for Waves to do so. Waves still successfully doing so. Maybe he's just confident uh, in his neutral game. Maybe he has analyzed de See, Destiny enough. I, I agree. I think that's probably what he's thinking. But it's still not the correct choice. Yeah, definitely not. And, and what we're seeing is uh, uh, might be just uh, strengthening his lead. But every time Lil Mac hits, he's getting so much closer from the the... the the punch that will actually grant him the KO. Just uh, you saw exactly. that down tilt into that up smash. If that up smash connected, that would have been a kill already. This is nowhere you want to see. Like oh, just like that. that. Okay, good DI by Waves. Not Ooh. getting messed up by the up B. However, what we are seeing here is uh, Destiny potentially getting his second KO punch up the stop. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, we're getting very close from that. Oh, but that back throw, back throw. And KO punch on that Waves needs to end this. And KO punch twice. In one stock, that's big, that's huge. And mm, the down smash barely that, whipping. That air dodge though, that air dodge, cl very clutch air very dodge, clutch. very good oh, recognition. Ooh. Oh my god, that's gonna be it! No KO punch for Destiny. No KO punch, one, two whiffs actually, and the waves with very good presence of mind, taking the first stock with an up smash. And we're, we're, yeah, basically at the moment what's happening is waves, capping off the platform because he knows he can, and Destiny just, just trying to figure out something. There he knows there he's in a difficult spot. There are a lot spot. of options Lil Mac has here. Even if Sonic is standing on a side platform, he can jump on the side platforms. However, um, because of the low pressure of his aerials, he does not get much out of jumping on the side platforms. And yeah, if he stays much. on the ground, he does get an up smash. If that up smash gets power shielded, he gets back aired and he's off stage. So mm. the risk reward for even the least efficient form of platform camping, which is the side platforms, is just so horribly uh, tilted in Sonic's favor. That's definitely looking rough. Uh, Waves finding a way back, and he's back on that side platform, uh, as you just said. Destiny trying to go for the uh, least effective, but maybe uh, all the options he has, trying to go for the grabs there and try to uh, sneak in a few percent, yep. sneak in like a, a, a something of a conditioning to... Uh, to find some hits in the it feels own way. Like he just ha doesn't have much of a choice. No, he doesn't. So he has to go for those uh, less efficient options because Waves is playing in such a way that this is the only thing that Destiny can do. Just like yeah, yeah, that's basically what he can do. I am. I wonder. I wonder if he's uh, yeah, like. I'm thinking of something Destiny told me once. Like uh, there is one way to actually make a grab worth it to go for, as Little Mag is to make a turnaround grab happen, so that you can actually mix up the DI from the opponent. Oh, oh. that OB! That OB will take the stock without having to use too many tricks. Just recognizing the situation very well, going for that OB and straight I on. I mean, there's one and a half minutes on the clock with a 30% lead by Waves. That's definitely something that Destiny can make up. However, if Waves camps the top platform, legitimately the only thing Destiny can do to combat it is up B and at up B it's not going to do enough damage in one and a half minutes to compensate for this lead if waves legitimately just stays on the top platform it is game over but we see him contest destiny as if it's as if it's natural to him and in my opinion that's not just, just not going to be the right option one minute 10 seconds on the clock and i feel like little mac just doesn't have the damage output to make this happen he just does not have the damage output to make this happen. Waves, get off of there! Get up! Yeah, just what are you doing there? You're talking about damage output, but you don't need damage output when you have KO punch, and we're definitely getting closer and closer to that exactly. specific I percent. I want to see Destiny uh, not hit. Uh, I want to see Waves not hit Destiny. Yeah. 
<laughs> he has 45 seconds to not do anything. Just exactly. add us. Just Press. don't interact with your Joke. opponent. No, That's nothing. all you nothing. need to do. Just go off stage. I mean, if you need so, but never, never even. Yeah, no, don't even try. Exactly. Don't. Oh, oh, but that oh actually, God. That's actually a thing. That's actually a thing. He can get the KO punch from hitting Small his opponent as well. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's the wood. Down shields, KO punch percent. And Waves knows it. Destiny knows it. They're playing very much differently now. So much pressure coming out of De uh, Destiny. Waves trying to find the very safe hits just to get KO punch away from that game. Oh no. The spin dash and I can get beaten by KO punch. This is so rough. Oh, 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 the KO yeah. punch actually connecting. with the KO punch with not even half a minute left on the clock. Jesus Christ, that clutch KO punch was so good for my insanity player Destiny. Holy, Holy hell! Moly. So much pressure. Even us, we're not even playing. Even us, everybody in the in the in the venue at the moment felt it. But Destiny kept his composure and actually recognized the only situation where he could sneak yep. in that sweet KO punch in the in the exact burst range of of the, the obscure tech we were talking about. I mean, I hate I hate to say this kind of thing, right? But we really saw waves. Um, not stick to his game plan. Yep. And that was his demise. Yeah. He spent he, sp he didn't even he didn't even spend half that game platform camping. Yeah. He actually engaged with Destiny, gave Destiny that first kill, and that first kill is exactly it's exactly what you said, right? This might be Destiny's chance. And it was Destiny's and chance. And it was, and it was, it definitely was. Um I mean Waves is Usually, this kind of player, at some point, he's very glad about what's going on, at least from our sets, the sets I've played with Wave, you know? He's just sticking to his plan very well, and at some point, it's not even that he gets cocky, but he's just like uh, trying stuff, like... Right. He, he, he gets comfortable. Or yeah, he or gets comfortable and, 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 and feels like uh, maybe he does not recognize what part of his plan was... Uh, the, the most effective. He just thinks right. that he's beating Destiny right out or anything and, 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 and going to... I mean, going head to head against Little Mike is just not the option. I'll be honest though, um, the most important thing here is that all the momentum is in Destiny's favor. And there oh, it is, another and there KO it is. punch. Another KO like I punch. said, all the, all the momentum is in Destiny's favor. After losing a game like that, that has to be a big mental hit. Like a huge mental hit. And being able to play play well after that is just so hard. Ooh, and that spring actually putting Destiny on stage instead of off stage. That was a very, very important moment as well. But as you said, as you just said, Waves most likely has not that much mental stamina left. And right. we're seeing it. Like he's he's going well, he's going in effectively, but he's going in. He's not playing the same game, the right. same methodical, very patient game we've seen him so far. Yeah, he's he's doing he's doing decent in the neutral. Um which is nice, but there's no reason to do decent in a neutral yeah, but he's when not you winning. can legitimately just camp them up. Yeah. Oh, and that could have been a forward smash. That could have been a stock already, but Waves going for that small punish yeah, might I'm actually definitely see that Waves has petered out here mm. in this game five. He's still fighting. If he can make the stock happen, that's going to be big, but... Ah, yeah, that's it. And that's it. The lack of tech wow. here coming out from Waves. The hug coming out from those two. They know what happened. Destiny is so excited about uh. taking back that game. He's still in. Waves is out. Uh, 